As promised, I will show you how to calculate chi-squared in Kramer's V in R. So as always, let's read in our data. So we got to give our data frame a name. Let's call it platoon. Put in read.csv, open parentheses, and then you put in the, the path of your file in uh, quotation marks. All right. So let's view our data. Let's put in view platoon. And all right, this is our uh, data with, uh, edu with the education. You have 40 soldiers and their status. Okay, let's attach our data. Attach platoon. All right. Um, okay, now let's get our data into a table. Now you might say, okay, but we already have a table right here. This is just for you. This is just a preview or a view of the data. This, uh, all R has is a data frame called platoon. So we got to form a table. Now let's call our table soldiers. Put in the assignment operator and then you got to put in table, the command to form a table and inside the parentheses you put in the factors you want to include into the table. So we want to include the factors education and status. So education and status. Okay, now we formed a table. Great. Um, now let's do the chi-square test. So the, the command to do a chi-square test is chi sq for squared dot test. This is the command for a chi-square test. Then you got to open the parentheses and inside the parentheses you put in the name of the table you want to do a chi-square test with. So the name of our table is soldiers. Now we hit enter and great this is uh, uh, all we need. So first of all um, this we see this the chi-squared value of 13.8 as we know, this value by itself won't tell you that much because it depends on the size of your table. To account for this, um, we use the degrees of freedom, three degrees of freedom right here. Um, now, take a look at the p-value. This is the important run. The, the, the p-value, this is important. We have a significance threshold of 0.05 and uh, this p-value is way below 0.05. So we have enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis. Education and status are not independent of each other. But how strong is this relationship? Let's calculate Kramer's V. Well, sadly, Kramer's V is not included in the basic version of R, so we have to install it first. This could, hap uh, this could happen uh, to you a lot of times, uh, but don't worry, it's actually pretty easy um, to install a package. Um, so to install a package, we simply put in install dot package package, open the parentheses, quotation marks, and inside these quotation marks, so simply put in the name of the package you want to install. So I've, I've done some Google research and I found out that the name of the package that contains Kramer's V is called LSR. So this would be the command to install um, your package. Then you would simply have to to put in enter and it would install the package all by itself. Um, I don't have to do that because uh, I've already installed this package so um, I won't do this now. But but uh, if you want to do this by you by yourself, oh sorry, if you want to do this by yourself you have to put in install.package, open the parentheses, quotation marks, LSR. Um, okay, <clears throat> so let me get that away. Now, every time you load R and you want to use an installed package, you have to load it. So, if you install a package like LSR, you have every time you, you boot up R, you have to put in library, open the parentheses, and then you got to put in LSR to load the package. All right, now um, we can calculate Kramer's V. So, the command for Kramer's V is Kramer and big V, huge V, open the parentheses and then you simply got to put in the name of your table. So our table was called soldiers or is called soldiers. So Kramer's V, open the parentheses, soldiers. Hit enter and then you get uh, the value of 0.58. This is Kramer's V, this is the, the value we get. So the value of 0.58 is a good fit in my eyes and um, there's definitely a relationship between the education of a soldier and his status. Um, now remember, Kramer's V might be the best measurement, but it also comes with a defect. Um, if you have a huge table, the measurement of association tends to be inflated. Always keep that in mind.